What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl here. And today, I just want to talk to you briefly about the Boulder, Colorado, sh Colorado shooting. And let me just tell you, it is so sad. And prayers go out to all the victims' families because that was just horrific, okay? Um, the guy just, you know, we don't know why he did it. He just went to the store, opened, fired. Um, some people got away. You know, some got away through the um, emergency exit, through the door, and there's some that didn't get away. Um, a total of 10 people, and that's including the um, police officer, Eric Talley, who's 51 years old. He was a father of seven, and his youngest child was seven years old. So my prayers go out to his family, as well as the other non-victims that was shot in the grocery store. Let me just tell you, my thing is this. Now, I saw some of the, the footage, and they were taking a guy away, handcuffed, with no shirt on, with shorts, and, his, and blood was coming down his leg. And I do believe that's the suspect. But imagine, he gets to walk away with his life. No shots, no nothing. He gets to walk away. Okay? Imagine that. He gets to walk away handcuffed and receive medical treatment. Okay? to make sure he was okay this man opened fire killing 10 people one of those people being a police officer he walks out handcuffs get on a gurney and gets medical attention do you see where I'm going with this there was opportunity for them to take him down but you know what I wasn't there maybe they couldn't get a clear shot Maybe they had to get him um, as safely as possible, okay? So does that mean he was just having a very bad day? And that's why he went to the store and did what he did? Sarcasm here. <laughs> but um, it's not fair, and I hope the family get justice. I hope the families that this guy took their lives from them i hope the family of those 10 victims get justice and you know what they will get justice because one of the people that was killed in this situation was a police officer and you know police officers they go all out for their very own they go all out for their very own I'm not saying they're not gonna go all out for the other victims but when it, be when it comes to their own they go all out okay so, justice will get served. Um, right now, they don't know the motive. They don't know why this guy did it. Um, it seems as if when I was reading the articles and stuff like that, they were saying that they had a potential um, suspect in custody. That's the suspect, okay? Um, they didn't give any, any information of the guy's name or why did he do what he did? So I'm going to keep a close eye on this situation, on this um, on this this news. I'm going to keep a close eye on it because I want to know what made him go into the supermarket and just open fire. People were in that supermarket doing a lot of things, you know, just going on about their day, and this happens. And it's at the point now, so much stuff is going on. I mean, I had other things to talk about, you know, and I'm still going to get to them today. But it seems like my inbox on Instagram was blowing up with this. And I said, you know what? I got to take a minute. I would get to it tomorrow because I was just into reading and trying to figure out what's going on because every article has something different. Okay. Every article has something different about the situation. So what I do now is that I read different articles and I see if they're saying the same thing or just wording it differently. But sometimes there's some articles give you a little bit more information than others. And so far, I have not gotten the name of the person that's involved in the shooting. I mean, I know the police knows, but they have not released it to the media just yet. And I would also like to know the other nine victims um, in this tragedy as well. 
okay? Because this is just, it's messed up. It's a nightmare. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. You can see the fear in people's eyes. You know, the hurt, the pain. And that's what bothers me a lot, you know? And as they was taking um, Officer Eric Talley's body in the ambulance, you know, um, first responders and his fellow police officers were all saluting, you know. And it's, it's just sad that this man, you know, doing his job, this is what happens. And now his family has to mourn has to grieve, has to go through all these things. And his children, seven children, his children, I just can't imagine. just can't imagine it. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm not going to hold you guys so long. Prayers for Colorado. Prayers for Boulder, Colorado. Because this is just a tragedy. This is a tragedy. Something must be done. But like I said, they're going to get justice because the guy that they took away are, are um, handcuffed with no shirt on, with the black shorts on and blood coming down his leg. I do believe he is the person that, that did this. Um, they did fi find a AR-15 rifle and I believe that's his rifle. We just got to now we just have to figure out why did he do this? Why did he decide to go into the supermarket and just open fire. But what what reason? What reason did he have to do this? You know? Nowadays, you can't even go into a grocery store without being in fear. You can't even go outside or step out your house without, you know, thinking something's going to happen. You can't really enjoy life. And I know we all try to, but there's so much stuff going on in this world. It's like, what else is going to happen? Okay? What else is going to happen? We had the shooting in Atlanta, in Georgia, with the guy who who shot up the Dan Gorn's beauty salons. Um, excuse me, the body the body massage parlors. Okay, now you have this guy who goes into the grocery store and just start open fire for what? For what reason? People' lives are being taken at the hands of. These folks who don't care nothing about society. <sighs> well, to be honest with you, I hope he get the, when they finally give him his sentence. I hope he gets the death penalty. I hope he gets the death penalty. To be honest, because he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to put other family members in pain. He didn't have to do that. And I bet you nine times out of ten, they're gonna say, Oh, he was um they're gonna make they're gonna say something. They're gonna say something about him on why he did it. And they're gonna probably blame it on mental health or some other reason. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Because what that police what that was that the officer, the captain in Georgia said about um Robert Long about him having a very bad day, that did it for me. That did it for me. I don't care what kind of day you having. You don't go into somebody's massage parlor and just start carrying on and shooting. Okay? I don't give a damn about how bad his day was, this guy here. You don't go into a grocery store and do that. That's not an excuse to do what you did. But I bet you, but this guy right here, it's going to be something. It's going to be something that they're going to say a reason of why he did it. And we're not going to like it, but maybe not. Okay, so we just got to wait for that. We just have to wait. But anyway, guys, um, mm, this is a nightmare and a tragedy. It's a nightmare and a tragedy. All right, you guys, I'm not going to keep you. This is all I have for today. Let me know in the comment sections about, you know, how do you feel about this? Do you have family members that live over there? Are they okay? You know, this is just tragedy. This is just a tragedy. It's just, it's just I don't even know what to say. <sighs> mm -mm. What is this world coming to, guys? What is this world coming to? All right, you guys, take care, and I'll talk to you later.